that happens, boom. Thanks. All right, Buford. Thanks, thanks. Long's trans-allied chemical? What kind of a question is that? The kind of just ask. All right, Sheriff. Moss. Oliver Moss. And his entire distribution outfit is over in Aldenoma County. Kind of puts a kink in your plans now, don't you? No, sir. I'd just appreciate it if you would pour the contents of this can into that dumpster. Say what? Now, look, Sheriff, I'm a businessman. I paid $500 for this 20-gallon drum, legal and above board. Legal and above board. Moss pays $10 for it. You pay $500 for it. And then you turn right around and you sell it for $50 a pint. It gives you a clear profit of $8,000. That seems dishonest to me, especially since everybody knows exactly what it's being used for. I assume it's being put you in the You assume! Mr. If I was selling for parody, I wouldn't assume. I'd find out. You've got no legal right to do this, Pusher. No, sir. Tell you what. I'll even open it up for you. How's that? Or what? You gonna bust me with that big stick of yours? No, sir. But I could bring a deputy over here, post him by your door, and have him write down the name of every person who comes in here. And I can let everybody know exactly what your profit margin is and the fact that you, sir, don't seem to care at all what happens to the young people in McNeil County. Now, it's a free country, and you can do Anything you seem right. I think you're doing the right thing, Mr. Roster. I really do. Excuse me, sir. Let's not do that again. Thanks again. The same. Legendary Buford Bus. Let me see a manifest. Two stops in McNeil County? My, my. Going all the way down to Florida, aren't you? That's what it says. So you work for Oliver Moss, huh? Why, you looking for a job? No. I think I found what I was looking for. What the hell are you doing? Shh. Look, we don't want to interrupt a man when he's working, I do. But this is McNeil County, and McNeil County's closed to him and his truck. You can't get away with this. Well, he'll get his lawyers on you. I'd love nothing more, mister, than have a couple of his shyster attorneys come within my reach. Look at me, friend. He means it. You ain't heard the last of this. <laughs> Next time you see me, you're going to wish you hadn't. I think that'll keep him off. 
boss out of McNeil County? Nope, I don't. So while there's not a lot we can do right now to help Byron Lee or Terry, there's a great deal we can do to help ourselves. That's why when Sheriff Husser came to me as your principal for help, I told him, you're the ones who can help yourselves. <laughs> How? By snitching on each other? That's right. If it can save a life, I don't think there's any question about it, right? PCP is a deadly poison. It is used to tranquilize animals. You, you get that? Animals. The worst part about PCP, however, is that the effects can stay with you forever, the rest of your lives. And the effects can come back again and again. Hey, my old man loved to have that happen to his bourbon. <laughs> <laughs> know what you're thinking. My generation has alcohol and pills as crutches. So maybe you ought to be allowed to have yours, right? Amen, brother. <laughs> well, you're wrong. None of it is any good. The only difference between the crutches is how long it's going to take before they kill you, or how long it's going to take before you turn into a vegetable. With alcohol, it takes years and years. One PCP cigarette and you can immediately and permanently be rendered disabled. Sheriff, are Terry Cantrell and Byron Lee that bad off? You tell me. The doctors can't. Maybe you all ought to go on over to that hospital. Take a look at those two boys. But prepare yourselves. Those two boys no longer relate to this world the way we see it. You can look into those eyes and see nothing. You can talk into those ears that hear nothing. <clears throat> Please tell me, who is dealing around here? Hey, well, you know, it could be their own fault. I mean, maybe they just took too much. Melinda, <coughs> too much? How are you going to know how much is too much? This stuff is made in kitchen sinks. It's made in bathtubs. And nobody knows exactly how strong it is. What's going to happen when more of them have had their brains fried, bent, twisted? When you can no longer learn? When the only thing you've gotten out of school is the knowledge of how to get high? What's going to happen to this country, then? This is your country. And PCP causes genetic damage. Think about it, people. What is going to happen to your children? Please help. Stop this drug. For your own sake. My sake, for everybody's sake. See what I see? Wiley Crawford, so what? So what's he doing? What else? Hustling. A little deal here, a little deal there. Here, deal, there, deal. He's not hurting anybody. He did if he dealt to Byron Lee and Terry Cantrell. Nah, not Wiley. He's small time. Small time. Uppers, downers, never anything special. Yeah, sure. Thanks, Herb. Get back to you later. Right. So far, we've got a positive in two of our sister counties. 
Sheriff Burns was glad to hear you had a confirmation of PCP, but Sheriff Aubrey found out the hard way. How's that? Last week, you had one of those kitchen labs blow up. Three homes burned to the ground before they got it put out. McNeil County Sheriff's Office, Litton speaking. Hi, Joan. This is Michael. Can I speak to Dad, please? Sure, just a sec. Buford, it's Michael for you. Yes, Sam, what can I do for you? Dad? Dad, I think I can help you. I just saw Wiley Crawford dealing in the drive-in parking lot. What do you say? Hey, you got any more of that good stuff, that stuff? Shh! You guys are dumb sometimes. Gotta mellow out with people around. Okay, okay, you're right. Now, how about a couple of them good ones, yeah? Huh? Even after Sheriff's little speech this morning? What does he know? Danny and me, we both done it before. We ain't no hospital. Yeah. Get lost. The deal is off, boys. Now, get on home. You gonna let us go? Yeah, but I want you to tell your plans exactly what happened here. And I'll be by in a while to talk it over with him. Now, get. Step out, Wyatt. Sheriff, can I go too? Wyatt, you're 18 years old and you're dealing. You're the bottom rung on a ladder that's gonna bring me to the source of this poison. I don't wanna go to jail, Sheriff. 